Welcome back, everybody. The summer of opportunity, the network of opportunity here on Fox Business. We're answering your questions about your business. And I just wanted to follow up with Julie Raymond, Don Rainey, on the question that we got from Leon about moving to mm -hmm. lower tax states. Don, first, because you deal with so many businesses, either the ones you've invested in or looking at, are those businesses being started in lower tax states? or Because most people have said that they still see businesses being started up right in the heart of California, which is burdensome, to say the least. People that hadn't thought about it are thinking about it. I mean, you, you look at this and you say, Florida, we, we use as an example, Wyoming. It's such an advantage. And if you're coming into a cycle that we're entering where taxes are going to be higher and higher and higher, and probably crossing that mythical 50% boundary, I think any entrepreneur, and entrepreneurs as a class, are bright and thoughtful people about their tax burden and where the money goes, and that's what they get up every day to do. And I think if we haven't seen it and if we're not seeing it at business creations today, we will soon. I think people would have to look at it for, for where they're moving a business. The six-month requirement, uh, people are dutifully meeting it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I know of a few people that have really made the decision to live half the year somewhere where the, the tax advantage just makes it compelling. But, Julie, you talked about the talent pool. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to go where the talent pool is? I mean, is if the talent pool is in Silicon Valley and not Florida, do I just suck it up and pay the high taxes? So, yes and no. I mean, I think that you do want to have the talent pool, but there's so many businesses being run by remote now where it, it helps to have people in a broad array of places where you don't have to have them literally five miles from your business central. Um, I was, during the break, giving you the example that my parents who are young, I mean, they're 60 years old, who sold their house in Seattle and everything there, and they moved to, yes, 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 there I was like nothing. I mean, they were like mm -hmm. teenagers when they had wow. me. So <laughs> I'm getting looks around the studio. I'm like, yeah, 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 I know. But <laughs> We're doing the math. No, my parents are young, too. I'm hey. actually hoping they're watching. TikTok. So they moved to some exotic island yeah. so I could go visit. <laughs> so they, well, and, and we, it's exciting. That's the, sort of the perk of, from the family perspective. But my dad actually moved down there with, with my mother, obviously. They built a... A house um, just outside of Panama City is on a golf course. So to Danny's point, live where you want to live, what makes you happy. But they also were very sensible. They saw it as the new Costa Rica in terms of tax benefits. Mm -hmm. and, and so now he manages my LLC from an operations standpoint from there. And, you know, they're happy. They come back here once a quarter. It's to, you know, to your point, it's no longer a flight than going from Seattle to D.C. You know, in fact, it's shorter. Mm -hmm. And another quick note, too, is that there's this, there's a myth that you have to have a virtual online company to be able to manage your team remotely. My team is in California in a brick-and-mortar location, and I live in New York City, and we do just fine managing using technology, which is, my company's not a virtual company. You know, we do some, some work online, but it's not a virtual company. But with video you, conferencing. But you, hire, you better hire good people. Awesome people. Right. That's uh -huh. absolutely uh -huh. important. But, John, with video conferencing and all that out these days, it, it, it makes perfect sense. Sure, you can. And by the way, people are wondering which states are we talking about? Washington, uh, Wyoming, Nevada, Texas, Tennessee, New Hampshire are Florida. Mm -hmm. Florida are yeah. zero tax states, all with wrinkles in their tax codes. But uh, that money can be your seed capital for getting something, uh, mm -hmm. getting something started. And two of those places are in tremendous real estate depressions, mm -hmm. which means you can go and buy buy locations now for nothing by taking them off the hands of someone in bankruptcy. Nevada and Florida. So in Nevada and Florida, they're going to see huge influxes right. of people. And those state uh, governments would likely welcome uh, yeah, businesses, money. right? If they you, like uh, entrepreneurs yeah. there. No, but if you come in and say, uh, a lot of states have programs to give you right. grants or tax abatement if you're right. going to move a business to the state, then this would be a good time to show up on those doorsteps today. You can start a business in a high-tax state yeah. if you think you're going to lose money in the short run. Right. Right. That's, long run. That's what Alan That's was it, saying. Right. And then in the long run, you move. You move when, out. Right. When you well, feel the pain, you move. Absolutely. I still like Julie's parents' idea. Ah, hope you watch it. <laughs> More answers to your questions ahead. So call us, 877-249-9626. You can always email us, yourmoney at foxbusiness.com. Up next, how to boost sales through new marketing techniques selling it straight ahead here on the Fox Business Network. <laughs>